I wanted to do an updated what's in my diaper bag. I'm gonna just call this 10 months because he's just like a week and a half away from being 10 months old. But, um, figured it was due since I need to do a summer one and then I'll have to do an updated winter diaper bag when he is um, into his first year. So, 10 months old plus a three and a half year old. The front, I usually just keep my keys in this pocket, my phone in this pocket, and then like my grocery list, croupons that I'm gonna use right away, that sort of thing. Bottle of water over here for his formula. Sippy cup or bottle, depending upon what time we're going out. Uh, depends upon what I bring. And then in the back, I have a giant zipper back here just for like my Zales thing so I can get my ring checked um, and cleaned. Coupons that I'm not using right away, but I don't want to lose, so I keep them back there, that sort of thing. On here, I still have my hand sanitizer, diaper, trash bag things. <laughs> okay, so in the big part, we have my diaper pouch, my diaper case. This is a thermal bag, and it has my chapstick and my gum in there because summertime I don't want it to melt, so that keeps it good. My wallet. And then um, we have a formula dispenser, and then toys are underneath here. There's a little jingly ball, I guess. And then we have a car, and there's a dinosaur down there. Underneath the toys is an extra outfit, just a shirt and a pair of shorts. And then we have, um, these are penguins, they're from Aldi's, they're, they're just like Cheez-Its. And there's a dinosaur. So that stays there. And then beside there we just have the Little Puffs and we're trying the peach mango ones. He loves the strawberry apple. Then back here we have a pocket and in these pockets I have little bags. And this is my medicine bag. I've got boogie wipes, band-aids, um, Vaseline for chapped hands, that sort of thing. Then I have baby Tylenol, my Tylenol, diaper rash cream, stain remover, and then I have a little jar of Aquaphor over here. Again, that's just for chapped cheeks, hands, you know, whatever. I have them both in there. And that um, petroleum jelly is also good for diaper rash or just redness in general. So that's why I keep that in there and I just slide that down in that pocket. And then over here, I call this my little food bag. Inside I just have a bib and then two spoons. I bring two because he likes to play with one and then I use one to feed him. Here I have a pair of socks for my four, well three and a half year old, almost four. <laughs> so that way if he wants to go into the play areas when we are out, he can. And we don't have to worry about buying socks every time. Then I have Clorox wipes to wipe down the restaurant table, the high chair, because my 10 month old will not keep napkins under his food. He will not, uh, he just likes to pull everything off. So there's no point in it. I just buy the Clorox wipes and clean it off myself. Um, and, and that's it. I don't have anything back here in this pocket at the moment. 10 months old, it gets a little easier. I don't have to carry as much even though this looks like quite a bit. This is my Vera Bradley. I did do a overview of this bag. I love this bag. I've had it and used it this whole time and it has not fallen apart on me. By now, with my first son, I would have had to go get a new diaper bag because the cheaper ones, they just fall apart so fast. So, um, I definitely do suggest investing in a good diaper bag if you are a new mom or even if you're a second time mom or third, fourth, fifth, whatever. Invest in a good diaper bag because it's going to last you. And I'm going to use this even when I don't need a diaper bag anymore. This will be a good like overnight bag if we go somewhere. So, yep, there you have it. That's my 10 months update on my diaper bag.